Yeah. Cold, mate. It's a bit dizzy. Right, so welcome back to the channel, everyone. We're back with another little, thought I'd grab another quick little video with Desmond. And um, I did a video, Des, about two weeks ago, and I used one of these straight off the winder. Went out, caught a load of carp on it. Everyone loved it. Thanks for coming. I loved it. It was great. Do you want to just run us through the rigs? Yeah, well... Everybody... You've had a big part of these, obviously. Yeah, of course. You know, when we actually designed the floats, the F, um, sorry, the, the DS, or DES ship slim range of floats, they've been mega, mega popular. You know, they suit what we want nowadays on commercial fishing. And that's the range. It's nice and simple. It's compact. We've got the carp pellet, which is a nickel titanium wire, two mil hollow bristle, so it's really easy to see. We've got the F1 pellet which is nickel titanium wire again, 1.5 bristle. My favorite float, if you looked in my tray here, I've actually got a load in there. I'll just come back in the You know, that, that tells you summer. And all I do is tie them on lines from 011 to 017. Well, I know when every time I go fishing with you, yeah, <laughs> you literally, it's like, oh, you set up an F1 they're maggot just, across just here. Just a, just a, a perfect all round float yeah. for, for anything to do with commercial fishing. So that's that, yes, have F1 Maggot pre-tied, and then we've got the F1 Fine. Now the F1 Fine is more of a finesse float, carbon, them two are carbon stem, the, the Maggot and the F1 Fine. Obviously the F1 Fine's got a 1.2 hollow bristle, and that's what we've been fishing with today here at Woodlands View, because it's been mega cold, and the little little F1s we've caught, they give you little tiny bites. Um, and they're all set up on different lines, obviously the carp pellet is about carp fishing, that's set on 017 reef flow. Line. All the info's there. All the info's there, nice and clear with 14 GPM on there. And the little diagram on the back, we've actually got spread shot on the, the, the two wire stem floats. That's what people seem to prefer. So you've got a stretch bulk because it's all about sort of pellet fishing. There's all the baits, loads of info on there. Three meters of line, so there's plenty of line for you even going to the deepest venues you go to. Six inch up length, which is off the mag store stuff. Same with the F1 pellet. We just brought the main line down because obviously the carp pellet was about bagging with carp and we brought the main line down for the F1 pellet and the same. Hey, help. But yeah, my top kit's gone in and the wind will not give up. <laughs> so the F1 pellet and the F1 maggot are on 015 reflow and they've both got 16 GPMs because that's what we've sat around. They're perfect. They're all pre, you know, they're tied up lovely. You get the winder with the adjustable things on so you can pack them all away. Like I said, the F1 fine, again, 013 main line because it's a bit more finesse. And then we've also put an 18 SFLB on there because, it, like I said, it's a, probably about, you know, you could get, you could use these floats. I know Andy Cranston does a lot of canal fishing. He used these floats on the Kent Haven Canal for his punch fishing mm. and squat fishing. So it's going to cover you for loads. So just one key thing um, that's worth we'll talking about is the shotting patterns because you, you obviously mentioned the shotting. Yeah. Um, do you just want to get one of those pellet ones out and just explain yep. what you mean by like a, a, a strong bolt. bolt? Because that is really popular with car fishing, isn't yeah. it? Let me get him off. And we can show you how good they actually these are pretty tight. Let's get him off a minute. Can't believe how cold it's been since this morning. It's 17 degrees Sunday and about three today. Winds Let's get it? him off. So like I said, you get plenty of line on it. So if you go into a deep venue, probably most of us will have to cut a lot of line off, but you better have to have too much and not enough. Like I said they're all stops, they're not going to come off and they're easy to move, not going to damage your line. Right, there you go, you can see the shot in there. There's the shot in. And the hook. GPM. That's how they come, look at that. So that is a, let me Stretch try and bolt. focus on that. You get that? Yeah. And so, that's how they come, that's how good they are. That's how good they are pre-tied. So, that stretch bolt then, what, talk us through that because... Well, that a lot of people like that. When they're fishing with um, soft pellets, they do like that because everybody knows with a wire stem float, it does sort of follow your hook bait down really heavy. It's like a heavy float. Yeah. Where you use a carbon float, you don't get that carbon sometimes, especially in the, a bit of a side wind. You can get your float to do that. With wire, it stays dead straight and mm. they just lower it down and they just prefer that. It's been about a long time now. It has, yeah. Just having that. But they just seem to prefer it. it. Keeps everything tight. It keeps everything tight over a certain. I always remember Steve Ringer showing me that for years, years and years ago. ago. Yeah, I and it, uh, it just didn't. I was like, "What?" It didn't yeah. make sense. But, but when you do it, it's brilliant. Yeah. It, it does. It does actually make a difference. So as you're lowering your rigging like yeah. that, it doesn't matter what bait you're fishing with, really. No. But that's all for like direct. It's more about fishing, fishing on the bottom, lowering your rig down when you're getting quite a lot of bites, you know, and it's direct to your float. Mm -hmm. 
So, so, there you go. Oh, sorry, it's so that's that one. Wrap that one back up, and let's have a look at the other ones because. And the wind's got back up. Yeah, you love it, don't you? Burn it, burn it. What did you call it? You got into your tis Oh, look at the wind, Des. It was uh, tangled around Joe's camera. Tis was, and I haven't tied these. Everybody thinks I tied them. I did. I wish I had the time to tie them actually. But good silicon on there, all nice and tight. Easy. Everyone's a winner. Get him on. I said there is a lot of line on there, but like I said, it's better to have too much and not enough. What we don't want you to do is go out and say, oh, hang on, there's not enough line on there. Got your adjustable little slides on there. Easy as that. Back your way. And then we want to get an F1 mag out? Yeah, let's get an F1 mag out. I could, use, I could quite easily use any of these. Because we've sat down at Preston and say, right, Des, what do you use? How do you shot them up? That's what people want, and that's what we give you. So that's a 4B14 F1 maggot. Carbon stem on this one. There's no way that that packaging is staying on that for the duration of this video. There's a big storm coming, that's the problem. Mm. We need to get... So on there, we've got a 16 GPM. And a calf rather sharp, to be honest. Perfectly tied up, look. Can't tie them better yourself. Yep, perfect. And all we've done on there is what my simple, a little bulk and two droppers. All stocks, all perfectly put on. They're not going to come off and not damage your line. So it's, it's and we've done the distances between that and the first dropper and the second dropper and the bolt like I do it, which is perfect for your yeah. average sort of commercial. Uh -huh. yeah, big ghosty F1, I expect. So that's it. That's how I shot a lot of my rigs. And that's what you guys want, and that's what we've done with yeah. this pre tie I mean, I, how many features have we done? Loads, haven't we, over yeah. the years? And that is how you fish. That's how you fish. 90% of the time, isn't it? The time. Nice and simple. You can move them around if you want to, if you want to do the same sort of shotting pattern as the, the wire stems, but that's how I start off normally and work from there. I normally end up like that. Yeah, so if you don't like tying your own rigs, you haven't got the time, don't, you just don't know how to do it, then you, you know, you genuinely, these are great value. I mean, the 3 99 the float itself is £2.10. Exactly. So, so the line, the hook, the time of you tying it, you know what I mean? It's, it, they are good value as well, so yeah, great value for money. Um, not for everyone, obviously. Ready made rigs, people. I like me and you probably tie our own, we love doing it. There's a lot of people that don't, there's a lot of people who don't, a lot of people hate it. And can't be bothered with it, and I don't blame them. Yeah, have the faith that these are it is a ball perfect. Eight. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deny it. <laughs> They're all pre tied, like I said, loads of information. Like, all the, oh, this after the F1 maggot, bulk, two droppers, it's all on there. So, yeah. when you go into the shop. And there's the sort of baits we've put on their recommendations. Obviously, you can change that. But worms, maggots, casters, pinkies, soft pellets. Just recommendations, obviously. Just recommendations. Just use the float how you see fit. Yeah. But they've all got the Jura eye in them. They're super all strong. Drop, all on reflow, reflow line, the power. So we all know how good that stuff Brilliant. is. And tied perfectly. Yeah. Ah, the fish are on it, aren't they? Yeah. Have to smack them out in a minute, I think. Yeah. So, cheers, Des. Thanks for that little, little rundown. Take care of yourself. And uh, check them out, lads. They'll be in the shops over the next few weeks. Obviously, we'll be click and collect now, unfortunately, but it will be in the shops soon. When you get the F1. What you've you been on today? I've been on the F1 that. fine today, am I? There he is, that. Huh? 16. So, when would you use that one over an F1 maggot? Look at this, we were finished, um, and we were finished. And now probably, we're... To be honest, I use these when it's sort of more delicate roach fishing than anything else. We have called them the F1 fine, but they to me they are more of a, a real. You know, a when you get a lot real, of the northerners like yeah, really lot, delicate yeah. floats, don't they? When you get real cold days in the winter, it's dead still, and you get all this on little soft pellets and that. That's probably where I'd use them. And then obviously roach fishing, then I'll use them down Stafford more. They've taken over from me from the Chianti, really. Really? Yeah, because they're easy to see. You know, we all know Chianti's are a fantastic float, but with cane bristle. They can be an absolute Especially pig. in the winter. It can be a pig to see. Unless you're fishing in that sort of silvery water and you black one out and you can see that little thing. But when the light's difficult, you can't beat a hollow bristle. And that's probably why I've sort of changed it over to them rather than the Chianti. Yeah. You still can't beat a Chianti mine for real gay fishing. Yeah, but... I love it. I can't. I, I've got... No, not my drawers over... Can't. My box is over there. And, oh, I've got a few Chianti's in there. Don't worry. Where in are there. they? Look. Yeah. Hey, look, look. I've got a 3B8 ones. I mean, how sad, how sad's that? You've got a 4B10 one, look. So they're there. They don't, <laughs> they're there. They're there. More for old times' sake. To be fair, they don't come out very often. No. They, they, they just go to that F1 fine and the F1 maggot, and that covers me for 
you know, a, a lot of my fishing. Yeah. A big percentage. Cheers, Tez. Should we go get a cup of tea? I am, I'm freezing. Yeah, I think we need to get a cup of tea. Cup of tea the Thanks, everyone. See you again soon. See ya. Bye.